Ladies and gentlemen, I am here backstage at Irish Whip Wrestling Doomsday in Dublin in Balbriggan with the anarchist Doug Williams, one of the competitors in tonight's triple threat match for the IWW Championship. And Mr. Williams, you are a worldwide superstar, former GHC World Tag Team Champion, you've been Ring of Honor Pure Wrestling Champion, British Heavyweight Champion of the World, and tonight is your opportunity to take home the IWW Championship. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, thanks, Eamon. I think you hit the nail right on the head when you said I've won championships all over the world. I don't think winning another one right here in Ireland is going to be that much of a problem for me, do you? Well, we're going to have to wait and see. that those, Your competitors tonight are going to be pretty tough. Vic Viper has beaten the best here in Irish Whip Wrestling, defending that championship. And your other opponent, whom you know very well, is former NOAA GHC World Heavyweight Champion Takeshi Rikio. It's going to be an uphill battle. Well, I'll tell something to Vic Viper. I know Takeshi Rikio very, very well. I also know he's Japanese and he's not overly familiar with three-way matches. So I gave him a few tips. I told him, you beat up Vic Viper, then when you're finished, leave the ring, I'll come in and score the pin. He was fine with that, so uh, I don't think I'll have any problem winning that title belt, do you? Ladies and gentlemen, Doug Williams, the anarchist, sounds very me, confident. We're going to have to wait and see what happens in tonight's main event match, that triple threat match for the Irish Whip Wrestling International Heavyweight Championship. Right now, let's get back to ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing here with former GHC World Heavyweight Champion Takeshi Rikio from Pro Wrestling NOAA. And tonight, Takeshi, you will be in the main event match, a triple threat match for the IWW Championship against Vic Viper and the anarchist Doug Williams. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, okay. That's great, ladies and gentlemen, former GHC World Heavyweight Champion Takeshi Rikio, one of the competitors in tonight's main event, triple threat matchup for the Irish Whip Wrestling International Heavyweight Championship. This is a battle of three great champions, as only Irish Whip Wrestling can bring you, and the referee Chick Cullen is going to have his hands full here tonight. As Chick Cullen holds up the heavyweight championship, a quick word on Chick Cullen. He's a 31-year pro. He began wrestling back in 1976. He helped train individuals such as William Regal, the rabid Wolverine Chris Benoit. He spent five years wrestling in Stu Hart's Stampede Wrestling Promotion. He trained in the dungeon, and he is a former two-time world Heavy middleweight champion. He beat Rollerball Mark Rocco for the championship on both occasions. So he's going to have his hands full here tonight as Vic Viper starts the matchup off with forearms to the faces of both men. And this matchup starting off very, very stiff. Viper being beat, front pillar to the post. And Viper heading for higher ground. And I don't blame him. You're gonna have to wonder, ladies and gentlemen, what the strategy of the Snake Man Big Viper is gonna be in this matchup. There may be camaraderie in that right now between the two Noah superstars, Williams and Rikio, but you've gotta believe that that's gonna break down very, very soon. It is every man for himself in this triple threat match. The Williams now and Rikio locking up in the center of the ring. Viper's on the outside trying to collect his thoughts. Williams and Rikio now exchanging holes, wrist locks, hammer locks. These two men know each other very, very well. They've traveled all around Japan, competing for pro wrestling, Noah. Wrist lock applied by Williams, boot to the midsection by Rikio. The last time we saw Williams on Irish Whip Wrestling Television was on uh, the first series of Whiplash TV when he competed against the Pokemon Darren Burridge in a World of Sport Rules matchup. Viper now, like a snake, comes back into the ring, living up to his moniker and attacking Takeshi Rikio, but those shots had no effect whatsoever. And now Viper finds himself in no man's land. Double Irish whip now to the far side. Double shoulder block and down goes the IWW champion. And Viper doesn't know quite what hit him. Viper being backed into the corner now. Double Irish whip once again. What velocity on the Irish whip. The knee in the corner by Williams. Close line in the corner by Rikio. 
Headbutts all over Altman. Beautiful gut red suplex. Lateral press and Rakio. Quick to interrupt the count. Rakio wants the victory for himself. And both men fighting over the right to pin the champion. Chick Cullen right there to make the count. And as I said, this camaraderie between Rakio and William Williams has broken down. And look at the intensity on the face of both men. Those forearm shots are devastating. Williams now winning the battle on this occasion, but he goes down hard with that shoulder block. And the big 280 pound Takeshi Rikio, the former GHC World Heavyweight Champion, taking over on Williams, but now being attacked by Viper. Reverse slide by oh, Chops. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Those Chops just lit up Rikio. Oh, my gosh. Forearms right to the face, another vicious chop. Unbelievable shot there. Rikio is known for these devastating shots in Japan, those knife edges. Viper being beaten down in the corner. Don't count the chop out yet, however. He is one tough individual. Beautiful jumping clothesline takes down Takeshi Rikio. The Attic is now back in the ring. Wait a minute. Doug Williams was just tripped up by Timothy. Get him, get that little pipsqueak. That little idiot. Timothy, trying to get out of the way. Williams is hot on his case. Viper thrown over the top rope by Rakio. Wait a minute. Timothy's in the ring. That's no place for a manager. And he just, he just ran right into a Redwood. Oh, he goes it down. You're an ugly slam on Timothy. A roll up now by Williams. And the fans being somewhat disrespectful here, throwing, throwing objects into the ring. Beautiful knee lift there in the middle of the ring by the anarchist Doug Williams, who scoops up Ricky and slams him out of the canvas. Lateral press through and no kick out. And Timothy is hurt after taking that devastating Yurinagi slam in the center of the ring. Timothy is headed back to the locker room. Oh, wait a minute. Timothy, I believe, trying to make his way over here beside me. I hope to God he doesn't come near me. We got all three. Williams now wrapping up. Takeshi Nakia with the head scissors. Trying to rob Rikio of his auction. Oh my God, Timothy trying to make his way over here to ringside. Excuse me to the commentator's table. Hey, Timothy. How's your head there, Tim? better. Takeshi Nakia now and Doug Williams. Duke and out, out in the ring. Nice side headlock takeover. Once again into the head scissors by Williams. Now you talked about Viper yet. I talked about Viper. I can do my job. Didn't look like you did a good job out there, Timothy. I was accosted. You got dumped on your head. You got dumped on your head and rightfully so. Full Nelson now applied by Takeshi Nakia. The anarchist in some trouble now. Big Viper still trying to collect his thoughts on the outside. He's not going to have Timothy at ringside. Unfortunately, Timothy's up here beside me. I have got complete confidence in my client to win this match here at Doomsday. Well, we're going to have to wait and see exactly how things transpire here. Nice reverse elbow by Rikio. Get in there, Vic. And indeed, he is in there. Just like the plan was. They better be paying me extra to have to sit out here and commentate with the likes of you. Oh, shut up. The champion now, Vic Viper, in some trouble. Looks like he's got a tiger by the tail there. Forearm shot to the face, and another one. Rick Surely the ref should get in there. That's cheating. They're oh, legal cheating. forearms. Legal forearms, Timothy. Rikio now taking over on the champion. Irish whip to the far side. Close line in the corner. Rakio, oh absolutely incredible, Timothy, it has to be said. Here comes Williams, knee in the corner. Doug Williams is known for that high knee that he uses, especially the uh, bomb scare knee drop from the top rope, but look at the intensity of Big Viper now, beating Doug Williams down in the corner. Big Viper really turning up the intensity, Timothy, I've never seen him this intense. We knew this 
this match was going to be big. So he studied her on Doug Williams. He knows what to do right there. We know how good Doug Williams is, but we also know how good my client is. Tremendous spinal tap there by Vic Viper. Off the ropes comes the champion. Yes! Urinagi shot right to the upper body there. The shoulders of Williams do no kick out. The ref is obviously a bit slow. It looks like an old man, that referee. Jig Cullen is a 31-year veteran, Timothy. He knows what he's doing in there. He's refereed some of the biggest matchup in European wrestling history. Leg drop now by the Snake Man. You're not gonna beat a man like Doug Williams like that, Timothy. I'm surprised Piper didn't hook the leg that time. You know, it's the pressure to be here in the ring. It's hot, it's hot out there. There are hundreds of people out there. It's hot out there. It gets to his client's brain. It gets to his brain. If you start talking about hot, you are, I'm leaving. Just like you to be crude. Viper now trading forearm shots, and he just raked the face of the anarchist Doug Williams. Great technical move, I'd like to add. Yeah, great technical move. And Williams now being perched up on the top turnbuckle. He's also known, ladies and gentlemen, as the human torture device in the USA and Japan, as a matter of fact. He may end up torturing Big Viper before this matchup is over, but it's Viper who's in control right now. Superplex coming up, Timothy. What's Rikio do? Taking a break? Rikio doing the smart thing on the outside as Big Viper goes down from the top. Bob scare knee drop coming up. He nailed it. No. This could be it. Hook of the leg, he goes. And Rikio made the save there for your client, Timothy. There was no way Big Viper was kicking out of that. I don't know about that, you should have given him the chance. But Rikio came in there. He knows what's at stake. The belt that my client has held for a good couple of months now. Irish trip to the far side, boot to the face by Rikio. Takeshi Rikio. From the top rope. Cross body, all 280 pounds of him. One, two, and no. Very impressive for a big man, actually. Williams, to his credit, kicks out. Over the top goes Doug Williams. Onto the apron only, though. Big Viper now. Oh, kicking Doug Williams right off the top rope. A Yakuza type kick there right to the face of Doug Williams. Takes him down. Notice the Japanese style of that kick. We studied this before this match even started. I hope you got that, Darcy. I got it. One more. Rikio starting bar. Here he comes. Another devastating Larian in the corner. Those are devastating. Rikio was a big man, no doubt. Vertical suplex. You can hear the impact of that. Lateral press now. New champion? No, not quite. Give credit to Vic Viper here. What a fight he's putting up. Tremendous tenacity by the current reigning champion. I have to give it to him, Timothy. My client knows what he's doing. Like this, check this. Sunset flip now. Can the Snake Man get him over? That's 280 pounds of solid muscle in there. Oh, wait a minute. Viper being picked up by the boat. Bear hug. Perhaps suplex coming up after this. Come on, Vic. Fight it, Vic. Come fight it. You got this side, you big. You can do it. Rikio known for the bear hug suplex in Noah, nonetheless, utilizing the bear hug here tonight. Squeezing the life out of Big Viper. Viper, though, resourceful counters, but he's hooked once again at a low blow. A low blow by Viper. I'm surprised Chick Cullen, perhaps he didn't see it there. Sunset flip by Viper, but he only got a two count out of it. What a war this has been, Timothy. This has been some war. All three competitors have addition out the big moves. Oh, the bomb scare knee drops. All of this happening in this match, Eamon Darcy. Here comes Big Viper now measuring Rikio. Forearm shot right in the corner. Suplex, can he get the big 280 pounder over? Yes, he can. Push him at suplex. Beautifully yes. done. Right into the lateral press to it. Two and a half count only. Big Viper no doubt knows that he has to pull out all the stops. And this is generally what happens in a tag team matchup, ladies and gentlemen. It is the divide and conquer strategy. Viper trying to pick up the big man, but to no avail. Oh, snake bite. What a close line. And that's a very good point, Timothy, I doubt. Wait a minute, German suplex. German suplex by the anarchist. Those patented suplexes and a spine buster out of nowhere by the snake man. What a close line by Rikio. What an impressive string of moves, Darcy. I don't think I've seen before, and I was impressive. Straight knockout moves, one after the other. We're gonna have to wait and see what these maneuvers have taken out of these competitors. Looks like your client is trying to get back to his feet. All these men, these three men, have beaten the lives out of each other here tonight. For the right to call themselves the IW. Position 
here. Super oh. match, perhaps. Oh. It's going to be the end of the match right here, Darcy. Hold on to your seats. Oh. Oh. Piper trying for that superplex. Rakio now from behind. Yeah. Stiff forearm shots right oh. on the of Big Pipe. Oh. oh no. Superplex power ball, perhaps. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, Takeshi Rakio in one fell swoop may have just eliminated his competition. I've never seen a maneuver quite like that in Irish whip wrestling before. That's about 400 pounds of muscle mass crashing down into the canvas. What a maneuver. Surprised the ring is still standing. Good lord. This capacity crowd here in Valbriggan. Getting behind all, all three of these athletes. Piper ducks the close line. Belly to back, Superflex, nicely done. Hooks the thing on Rick Peel, this could do it all. You're not a cheerleader here. You won't be better than a cheer. My client is an up man in this match. These are two big name top of national superstars. He's hanging in there. No doubt, and what a victory it would be for the Snake Man Vic Viper if he were to win this matchup, successfully retain his champion. It would be a huge statement. Viper with a moonsault, but no. Rikio gets the knees up, right to the abdomen. That's very smart. I didn't think he was that smart. Yeah. Former GHC World Heavyweight Champion now looking to take over on the IWW Champion. The anarchist Doug Williams is down and out on the far side of the ring. Oak slam, I bet that brings back some memories, Timothy. Two and a half. Can only. I don't care about you, Dice, or what you say about me. It's what's happening in the ring that's important. The choke slammed you harder. Wait a minute, Rikio. Going for that moose on the slam. That's an awesome. Roll up by Williams, this could do it. Two, no. These two men now sensing the desperation. Doug Williams needs to end this and end it quickly. Knee drop and a flying reverse elbow by Williams. Lateral press, two count only, however. Those are two moves big in Japan. Doug Williams has obviously studied his Japanese opponent. Absolutely. Doug Williams, a major superstar in his own right in Japan, going for the chaos theory, but it's blocked. Right into the clothesline by Rikio. Lateral press, no. Two and a half count only. Yeah. Tremendous counter to the chaos theory of Doug Williams. No doubt he knows Doug Williams very well. Yeah. The moves all slam, there it is. Viper from the top. That's it, Viper, cover him. Three count. And it's over just like that. I'm off to celebrate my client's victory. Get the hell out of here, Timothy. Big Viper out of nowhere. The winner and still the Irish Rip Wrestling International Heavyweight Champion, the Snake Man, Vic Viper. Just when Takeshi Rikio thought he had the Irish Rip Wrestling International Heavyweight Championship won, Vic Viper, the champion, came off the top rope with a devastating headbutt. And that was it for Takeshi Rikio and Doug Williams in this matchup. What a war we have just witnessed, ladies and gentlemen. What a night it has been here at Irish Rip Wrestling Doomsday in Dublin. And what a statement Big Viper has just made. No doubt, Big Viper has just cemented his name as the greatest Irish Rip Wrestling International Heavyweight Champion of all time, defeating two of the most well-renowned and well-respected superstars the world over. Former GHC champion, Takeshi Rikio. And former British heavyweight champion and ring of honor, pure wrestling champion, the anarchist Doug Williams. What a victory. For a snake man, Big Viper. Like him or not, the snake man is double top. And he just proved tonight why he is the Irish Rip Wrestling International Heavyweight Champion. As he leads his two opponents defeated in the ring. Every man for himself, for the most coveted prize in all of European wrestling, the Irish Whip Wrestling International Heavyweight Championship. And the referee checking the equipment now on all the participants. No doubt he's going to have his hands full in this contest. All three men are going to do whatever it takes to be victorious.
Don't be fooled by the demeanor of Eugene. He may be a little bit special, but he is a dangerous competitor inside that ring. He has mimicked many of the moves of his favorite wrestlers from yesteryear, from the 1980s and the 1990s. And now Eugene checking the, checking the official for any foreign objects. Eugene having some fun, but you can bet the fun is gonna end when this bell rings and the action gets underway. And here we go. This crowd fired up for this matchup. And Eugene and Mandrake, they're discussing a little bit of strategy. Big Viper backed up against the ropes here. Viper asking for a bit of distance here, and rightfully so. No doubt this will be an uphill battle for the champion. And he heads for higher ground here in the early going. Shut the hell up! And we are very familiar with this chant. These fans letting Big Viper know exactly what they think about him and look at Eugene. Having some fun with the ref. Viper bent out of shape, no question about that. And Big Viper cannot allow the crowd to get into his head. If he lets the chance of this crowd affect his psyche, he's gonna lose this matchup and lose his coveted championship. But Big Viper nonetheless is a very dangerous individual, a master of mind games himself. A great ring general in there. And now Mandrake and Eugene wanting both. It's a three-way match so you ring. two wrestle. And Viper just asked Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to inform the audience and Vic Viper under triple threat rules, the champion does not have to be pinned to lose the championship. Eugene can pin Mandrake or Mandrake can pin Eugene. There are triple threat rules. And it looks like Eugene and Mandrake are gonna hook it up. And there we go. Color and elbow tie up into the standing side headlock by the Blackheart Warrior. Nice takeover. And Viper doing the smart thing there. Eugene and Mandrake thought that they were gonna double up on Big Viper, and Viper has turned the tables, and now we've got Mandrake and Eugene going at it. Viper, as I said, very, very smart, very intelligent. A master of mind games. And we're seeing it right now as Viper jaw jacks with the fans on the outside. Eugene in control with a wrist lock over Mandrake. Nice takeover by Eugene. Off the ropes he comes. This is the elbow, however. Standing moonsault by Mandrake. Nicely done. Hooks the leg too, and Viper interrupts the count. And as the ring announcer stated there a moment ago, one pinfall will decide this matchup. Eugene could pin Mandrake, and Vic Viper would lose his Irish Whip Wrestling International Heavyweight Championship. The champion does not have to be pinned or made to submit to lose his title in this contest. Side headlock now by Viper, and once again, we've got all three men in the ring. And now Eugene clamps on a side headlock on Big Viper. We've got a double side headlock going on. Eugene off the ropes. Show the block, and down go both men. These three men feeling each other out in the early stages of this contest. And now it's Mandrake who hooks on the double side headlock. And Viper's getting the worst, worst end of the deal there that down on the bottom. Mandrake off the rope over Eugene, leapfrog by Viper. The pace quickening here, Mandrake catches the boot, up goes Viper. Atomic drop, nicely done. In front of the atomic drop by Eugene. And Viper is in serious trouble. Double clothesline and down goes the champion. And out of the ring. And a very wise move there by the champion trying to break the momentum that Eugene and Mandrake were building. But Eugene follows Vic Viper right out there. 
Fires the champion back into the ring. A cover by Eugene. One, two, and Mandrake interrupts the count. As I said, it's every man for himself in this contest. And now we can see dissension brewing between Eugene and Mandrake. Covered by Eugene again. And once again, Mandrake interrupts. And these two men, look out, Mandrake from behind. These two men who were friends, it would seem at the start of this contest, have turned on each other, and that's exactly what you would expect in a triple threat matchup. All three of these men want to be the Irish Whip Wrestling International Heavyweight Champion. Vertical suplex by Mandrake, look at the power, holding up. 15 pounds of Big Viper into the air, beautiful delayed vertical suplex by the Blackheart Warrior. Lateral press. And Eugene right there to interrupt the count. It's gonna be very difficult for one of these men to win this contest when all three are in the ring. Perhaps a divide and conquer strategy will have to be employed in order for this contest to end and a, a winner to be declared. And now Viper being tied up in the ropes. Nowhere for the snake man to go. Viper now in trouble. Here comes Mandrake, look out, battering ram right into the midsection of Big Viper. And the champion in trouble. Mandrake being set up again, reversing Eugene, catches the boot right to the face. Tremendous impact there, right to the face of Eugene, and now Viper frees himself from the ropes and rakes the eyes of Mandrake. The champion in control, impactful scoop body slam by Big Viper, off the ropes he comes. Leg drop right across the face, lateral press does not hook the leg, and Mandrake kicks out. Big Viper now trying to take the advantage as long as he can. Eugene is incapacitated. Now beautiful fisherman buster by Big Viper. Could this do it? One, two, and no, a kick out once again by Mandrake. But Big Viper has the right, he's got the right idea. He's trying to put Mandrake away while he can, while Eugene is incapacitated. Look out! Roll up by Eugene. One, two, and Man, what an impactful shot there by Mandrake. The boot right to the face and the shoulder area of Eugene. He's writhing in pain down there on the floor. Meanwhile, back in the ring, Mandrake snaps the neck of Big Viper. Big is extremely agile. Two and a half count only that time for Mandrake. Mandrake extremely agile. He's got a background in Taekwondo and a number, a number of other martial arts disciplines. Very well, very well versed uh, combatant is Mandrake, and look out, a low blow again, undetected by the referee. And Viper showing you some of those snake-like tendencies. Bending the rules. As much as he possibly can, and now Eugene fired right back down to the concrete. And this is the divide and conquer strategy I spoke of earlier. Here comes Viper. You're Yuridagi kick, right to the back of the head. Inzaguri, excuse me, right to the back of the head there of Mandrake. Mandrake turned over, nonchalant cover, and that's not gonna do it, Vic Viper. Viper is not gonna put Mandrake away that easily. Mandrake has fought long and hard for this opportunity. And he's gonna fight right to the bitter end. Eugene now back into the corner. Blatant choke called by Viper. And had the referee reached a five count on that last exchange, this match would have been over as a result of a disqualification. And again, Viper choking the life out of Eugene. And as you all know, ladies and gentlemen, a championship here in Irish Whip Wrestling can only change hands by a pinfall or submission, a count out or a disqualification. And the title will not change hands. Beautiful. Snap vertical suplex by Viper, the lateral press, he does not hook the leg, however, and Mandrake is right there to interrupt the proceedings. This matchup has broken down in the last few minutes, ladies and gentlemen, all three men trying to get the pinfall any way that they can. All three of these men putting their bodies on the line, that is exactly what the Irish Whip Wrestling Championship means to these three men. Vic Viper has held the title for over 14 months. 
And he doesn't plan on losing it any time soon, but he's in trouble right now. Mandrake with shots in the midsection, and Eugene also. A chop right to the side of the neck there by Eugene. Viper being double teamed. The Snake Man in trouble. Irish whip to the center of the ropes. Oh, look at Big Viper breaking up that double clothesline and causing Eugene and Mandrake to collide in mid-ring. Very intelligent maneuver by the champion. Lateral press, and go again, Eugene interrupts the count. Eugene now grabbing the leg. Oh, Big Viper slaps on the figure four. And this could do it. This could do it, the figure four out of nowhere by Eugene and Mandrake. Realizing the situation, breaks it up with a leg drop, hooks the leg, and Viper interrupts the count. This action has been back and forth and back and forth. What is it going to take for one of these men to win this matchup? All three are in trouble. All three have it. Had a tremendous amount taken out of him. And Viper now trying to put Eugene away, trying to wear him down with his reverse chin lock. Mandrake back on his feet, however. And hooks in Vic Viper. We've got double reverse chin locks going on in mid ring. And Eugene may very well go out as a result of this. He's on the bottom of the pile there. Mandrake obviously in the most advantageous, advantageous position. The referee gonna check the arms. The arm has dropped once. Once more and it's over. Mandrake maybe moments away from winning the championship, but no. Eugene's not gonna quit. Eugene trying to get back to his feet. Double job breaker, nicely done by Eugene. Very intelligent maneuver by the young man, no doubt, as I said. Don't underestimate this man, he's a dangerous competitor in there, and it looks like Eugene is trying to hold up. Eugene, hulking up here in Dunnecarney, getting back to his feet. Look at the tremendous fire in the eyes of Eugene. He is ready for war. Look at Viper, doesn't know what's gonna hit him. One shot, another. A series of now by Eugene. And down goes Viper. Eugene and Mania is running wild. Irish with big boot. And you know what's coming next. The fans know it too. Eugene off the ropes. Leg drop, no. Mandrake interrupts it, spinning heel kick to the face, hooks the leg, is that it? No! Man, I thought that was it, two cut only, says the referee. Viper now coming over to Mandrake. Up and down, the snake, the snake bite there by Vic Viper two, and it's, no! Another two count. Thanks to Eugene, Mandrake has survived the patented snake bite of Vic Viper. And now can Eugene capitalize? Off the ropes, he put his head down, did Eugene, and he paid for it. Look at Rock bottom! A rock bottom by Eugene! That's gotta do it, a cover! Mandrake, though, is right there to interrupt the count. I gotta make close right here, Eugene! Here comes Mandrake, he misses the right hand, and down goes! Down goes Mandrake! Belly black suplex him! You can't see me. Five knuckle shuffle. No, wait a minute. Viper goes up. Oh, the referee just got knocked down. F you on Big Viper. And the ref is out. The referee was inadvertently knocked out there by the feet of Big Viper. He is hurt. And Mandrake now coming over, taking over on Eugene. Irish whip. Eugene puts on the brakes and both men collide. Head to head in the center of the ring. Big Viper down on the floor. Wait a minute, he just grabbed the championship off the ring announcer. Big Viper's got the championship belt. The referee doesn't realize it. Both Eugene and Mandrake are down. 
Big Viper coming over to the referee, trying to distract him. The referee can barely stand. Man breaks back up, look out, oh, wait a minute, Eugene just got knocked out by the championship. Super kick by Mandrake, the Viper goes down and outside the ring. The referee now is back on his feet, Mandrake measures Eugene off the rope, and down goes Eugene. Mandrake hooks the leg, two, we go to the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, and new Irish Whip Wrestling International Heavyweight Champion, the Black Hat. in wrestling today, Eugene and Vic Viper. I brought the pain, I brought the suffering, they became just more victims. Step up to the plate and join the queue. Ladies and gentlemen, I am backstage here with the one and only insane one, Madman Manson, who later on tonight is gonna to be facing former WWE superstar Eugene mm -hmm. in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Madman Manson, how have you prepared for this big matchup? So that is how I've been preparing for this match with Eugene, a former WWE Tag Team Champion, former President of Morocco, named three times GQ Man of the Year. I've been only named once. It's a joke, Darcy. It's all politics in there. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the match with Eugene and Manson because it's the last match you'll ever see because you'll give up on wrestling forever. Well, I can't wait for this one. Manson doing his traditional pre-match warm-up in the corner. And Eugene, I don't think, knows quite what to make of it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's okay, he's all right. This is not gonna be a catch as catch can classic, ladies and gentlemen. You're not gonna to see too many. Fire alarm, fire alarm, everyone out. Manson thinks it's a fire alarm. You're not gonna to see too many arm drag takedowns. You're not gonna to see too many Greco-Roman knuckle locks in this matchup. This is going to be one of the most unusual matches any of us have ever seen. And I can't wait. Madsen just grabbed a bottle of coke off some kid in the audience. They have sweets. Sweets and coke. Pre-match warm-up, I suppose. A few minstrels will go down well. Hey, the referee's even got some. I want some. 
I'm never gonna buy Manson dinner again, I'll tell you that much. He didn't even offer me a sweet. Look at Manson now tying himself up in the ropes. This is absolutely crazy. Listen to this crowd, ladies and gentlemen. I wish you could be here to feel this electricity. Color elbow tie up into a standing side headlock by Eugene. Off the ropes he comes. Shoulder lock takedown. Oh, wait a minute. This is crazy. Imagine just jump right out of the ring. How am I supposed to call this? This is nuts. And Eugene now invite, inviting Madman Manson back into the ring. And Manson gets in the only way he knows how. And both men tie up again. If this match is any indication of how the night is gonna go, I think my voice is gonna go before too long. Surfboard there by oh, Eugene, oh, almost a double chicken wing. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, Madsen takes Eugene for a ride through the ropes and down hard to the floor here in the Donnie Community Center. And Madsen's concerned about the condition of his hand, I think. Madsen. Offering to help Eugene back into the ring. He doesn't look to be too comfortable on those ropes, does Manson? Manson for a timeout. What? They want to rest. <laughs> They're making the rules up as they go here. Eugene's chatting for Manson. Wait a minute. It's the Invisible Man. The Invisible Man with a wrist lock on Madman Manson. This match has become a triple threat match. Whip in by the Invisible Man. Close line, down goes Manson. Leap block by Manson from the far side, the Invisible Man, Japanese arm drag. What the hell is going on? Arm drag takedown by Manson. The Invisible Man going all over the place. And there's one for you, team. And one for the referee. Manson got carried away there, I think. Arm drag by the ref. What the hell is going on here? The referee getting in on this action. I think he's having second thoughts. He just got caught off in the moment, I guess. This is the weirdest match I've ever seen in my life. And now both wrestlers holding the ropes open for the referee. This is nuts. Connor now will tie up once again. Wrist lock now by Matt Van Mats, and I believe the Invisible Man has gone back to the dressing room. He's had enough action for one night. Hammer lock and a headbutt by Manson right to the tricep of Eugene. Standing side headlock now by the insane one. Claw hold by Eugene. A claw hole locked in by Eugene, and he's taking Manson down. The pressure being exerted on the temples of Madman Manson. This is a time-tested submission maneuver. But Manson
Johnson breaking it. And now Eugene's locked the climb on himself. And Madsen trying to free. Oh, wait a minute. The, te the testicular claw. <laughs> This is crazy. Oh, the referee just got nailed. The referee just got nailed. Wait a minute.